We just are such lucky people that we get to eat this food and celebrate these restaurants. And what a better way to kick off our week uh, celebrating meat than with? Barbecue ribs. Oh, please, thank you so much. There are so many amazing barbecue places around the US and we couldn't possibly feature them all, but we're gonna try to cover the three bases with three different restaurants in three different cities. All right, everybody, you ready? Yeah. Let's eat. All right, let's go. Mmm, welcome. Oh, that's good. Mm, that's good. The smoke really goes through like your nasal passages, it goes in your whole olfactories. I don't think it'd be that flavorful. Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. That's incredible. All right, Adrian, you're a James Beard award winning writer, food writer. You've had your fair share of ribs what? from over 200 places. I am so honored to ask you, what do you think of these? Hey, it's so good to be with you. So yeah, I like this. This is really delicate, you know, tender. Mm -hmm. um, I put some of the grilling sauce that I got on there, so that added some flavor. And then I love collard greens. So I'm glad they threw this in the midst. This is a very soulful touch. Mm -hmm. So it's mm. stuck here. Have you tried these yet, the mm -hmm. collard greens? Mm -hmm. Okay, get in. This, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. What is going on in this? It's perfect. Oh my God. Mm, well done. Oh, thank you so much, Adrian. So are you ready, guys? So ready. Let's this see. is so different than the last one. Ready? Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, that'll wake you up. Mmm. Okay, you can certainly taste mm. all the spices in that dry rub. Even the texture's different, right? Yeah, and it really has like a nice crust on it. Mm -hmm. Emily, it's your family tradition to have a rib fest every year. What are your thoughts on these ribs? The spice, it just completely permeates the rib and the meat and it just tastes absolutely amazing. It's not too overwhelming, but it has just um, just such a great flavor to it. I love it. Have you guys gone to town on the slaw yet? I'm obsessed with this. I haven't stopped eating the ribs yet. Well, I know so. that. <laughs> Let me move over. I feel mm. so... Get ready. Ooh. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. What's really great is, um, how crunchy the slaw is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm, really good. Emily, thank you so much for your um, permeating, especially work <laughs> on my favorites. My honor, please. <laughs> okay, everybody, you ready? Let's <laughs> eat. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Very different. Mm -hmm. So mm. different than the other two. Mm. But like that really beautiful, kind of what you really think is like a barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. There's certainly layers in this one, yum. You're absolutely right, Ross. Yum. Mabel, you were born and raised in the South and you consider yourself authority on barbecue ribs. Will you please give us your thoughts? Well, girl, I have to tell you, this rib is good. It's tangy, <laughs> mm -hmm. it's um, really, uh, easy to get, come off of the bone. It's um, the meat is really tender and the sauce, the sauce is so amazing. It's right on point, so it's really, really good. I think you're absolutely right about that sauce, Mabel. They're all very different. So mm -hmm. different. Um, okay, well, it's time to vote. This is gonna be really hard. Before we do, we asked you all to vote on Twitter to say who your favorite rib joint was from all these extraordinary places. And 61% of the vote was Joe's Barbecue wow. in Kansas City. I can see why. So that's one vote for Joe's Kansas City Barbecue. I love that they're in like that Shamrock gas station that is so cool, that makes you feel like such a foodie. Uh huh. Okay, and now it's our turn. All right, one at a time, we're gonna reveal our favorite. Um, so kick us off, Adrian. Wow, Joe's Kansas City. Okay. I really, really trust your palate. Okay, beautiful Emily, what is your vote? Joe's was phenomenal, I agree, but I have to go with King's. Mm -hmm. Okay, stunning, smart Mabel, what is your vote? Kansas City, of course. Kansas City, here I come. Oh, all right, oh my gosh, that's three. I know. Um, for Joe's. Ross, it's your turn. Okay, listen, I loved each one of these. I don't have a bone to pick with any of them, but 
one of them has to win, and I have to say, it was the tenderness and the side dish of collard greens that put King's Restaurant over the road for me. It was so good. I have to do King's too. <gasps> right. I was really not expecting how much flavor would come out of those ribs and I can't stop eating those collard greens. You're absolutely right. And I love the sauce. So, oh my gosh, it's a tie. So guess what? Both of those restaurants are each getting a trophy. Yeah. These restaurants can be found on none other than Gold Belly. Heaven on Earth, Gold Belly. That should be their motto. <laughs> Congrats to all three restaurants. Thank you so much for honoring us by participating in this. And I really want to thank our VFFs, Adrian, Emily, and Mabel. Thank you so much for hanging out with us today.